All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. So here we have, we're gonna make armadillo eggs today. So this is the stuff that we're gonna be needing for this cook. First thing that we're gonna need is some fresh jalapenos that we have here that we got. We, we have six of them. Next one is we're gonna have some Italian sausage. Uh, this is mild. You can get any type of ground sausage. It doesn't have to be this kind. Any ground sausage works. Next is we have our bacon. This is regular cut bacon, not the thick cut. Do not get thick cut. One small thing of medium cheddar cheese. One block of cream cheese. For our seasoning that we're gonna be using for this, it's gonna be the Cubano from Lane's Barbecue. This Cubano has a little bit of sweet and zesty, so we're excited to try this one. And of course, you can't have armadillos with a little bit of glaze. So the glaze that we're gonna be using on this, oh, some pineapple chipotle. Ooh, this is so good and I'm excited to try this. Also remember guys, if you guys wanna try any of these rubs or sauces, make sure to check out the links in the description. So first things first, we need to make our stuffing that's gonna go inside the jalapeno. First, one block of room tap cream cheese. All right now, so that we have our cream cheese in there, we're gonna go ahead and put some cheese. Um, I'm gonna say maybe half of this, small, uh, eight ounce, so about four ounces of cheese. Yeah, so about half. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it together. Now that we have it all mixed up, let's add some of this Lane's Barbecue Cubano. Mm. So about, a, about two, uh, two tablespoons around there, it just depends how much you want. But the cream cheese filling is ready. Let's go ahead and go with the jalapenos. So the videos that I saw made it look easy. And of course, video, some videos make it look so easy and then you try it at home and you're like, it's not working. Now let's see if it works. All right, so you're just gonna cut this side. So if you don't have one of those special tools to take this out like I do, because I don't have one of those tools, you can use the other side of a spoon. You go one side like that, go to the other side. Other side, and then just kind of twist it, and it all comes out. There we go, easy enough. So, we'll do the other five and we'll come back. Okay, so here we have it our jalapenos are now ready to be filled with the cream cheese and cheese filling. Pretty much just gonna go a little bit, little by little, and just stuff it in there. Make sure you get it all the way in there. It's gonna feel like it's it's full, but it's not. So use the other side to kind of round in there, but not too hard. Where you're gonna rip open the jalapeno. And there we have it. All the way in. We're gonna be doing the same thing to all the other five, and we'll be back when those are done. Now that we're done with the jalapenos and stuffing them with the cream cheese. Let's go ahead and do our sausage now. So remember, you guys can use any sauce, any ground sausage you guys want to use. You can use the mild, you use the hot, you can use just plain old uh, ground sausage, is fine. Thing to do is you gotta cover the whole jalapeno. Try to make a nice round flat circle so I can just roll it in there. Try to roll it in there like that. There you go. And that's how you gotta do it. Just roll like a little football. All over it, so you don't see none of the jalapeno. You don't wanna put too much either, just enough to cover the jalapeno. Do this to the next five and we'll be back. All right, now that we have the sausage on the jalapenos, the last step will be to add wrapping the bacon. They're saying it's gonna take about two, two pieces of bacon. So, and there it is, guys. There it is. Oh man, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other ones, and we'll be back. Now we have these wrapped in bacon. Last step is gonna be to add a little bit more of this Cubano rub from Lane's Barbecue. Cubano, let's make it rain. like that. 
All right, now we are ready for the Traeger. So this is how we're gonna do this. We're gonna have the Traeger at 275 degrees. The videos that, I, that I've seen said about an hour and a half. So we're gonna go with an hour and a half. Some of them said that internal temperature was 165 or 160. Some other ones didn't even say internal temp, they just said an hour and a half. So I'm guessing an hour and a half is a sweet spot. And then after the hour and a half, we're gonna add our barbecue glaze, pineapple chipotle. Mm, mm, mm. Let's fire up that trigger. All right, so the trigger is up to temp, 275 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and add these bad boys in here. So we will be back in one hour and a half, an hour and 30 minutes. I've been there for about an hour now, and they look, turn of temp is like in the 150s. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the nice pineapple chipotle sauce. And then we're gonna crank up the Traeger, the 350, to get that bacon a little bit more crispier. All right, let's go ahead and crap the Traeger up to 350. So I actually left them for a whole half hour instead of the 10 minutes. Oh, look how good they look. Let's go ahead and take them out. Look at that. Let's, we'll be back. So here we have it, we are done. And they're smelling really good, so now with the, with the heat of the jalapeno, let's add a little bit more of the sweetness of the pineapple on this with a little bit of chipotle. So get that sweetness going. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more. For the moment, you guys have been waiting for, and especially I've been waiting for, cut into this. Yes. So let's give it a cut. And so there's how it looks. Look at that. That looks good. Oh, so there you have it. They look good. The inside looks nice and cooked. So just remembered, I had it at 275 for an hour and a half. At the one hour mark, I added the barbecue sauce and I cranked up the trigger to 350 degrees to get that bacon nice and crispy like it is right now. It's perfect, perfect. And I let it cook for another half hour at 350 and you're done. So an hour and a half total time. Now we get to taste this. Whew. Hopefully I'll burn myself guys, cause this is hot, but I need to try it, right? Wow. Wow. That is so good. And this pineapple chipotle sauce, is that sweetness to it. You, there's a spiciness of that jalapeno, but that sweetness that comes right in after that. Ooh, oh, it's so good. Mm. There is a link in the description for the sauce in this. So you guys can check them out. There's other stuff that you have. Make sure you guys hit that boom, hit that subscribe button for more great content coming. If you guys do not want to miss any of this, check out the videos. We'll see you guys next time.